Welcome back to another edition of Engelbert's Epic Halls. Today I went out to Bury St. Edmunds and uh, hit up my favorite stores down there. Uh, my favorite stores are Game, HMV, E3, and then I usually end a Blockbuster, and I usually hit a couple of thrift shops in between. Uh, anyways, uh, let's start. I'm going to first start with just a couple movies I just picked up literally about a half hour ago from the shop at uh, two of our DVDs, one of Blu-rays. Alright, right, the first movie I picked up was I Love You, Philip Morris. Alright, the second movie I picked up for $5 was The 19th Wife. As you can see, the tagline reads, Polygamy Can Be Murder. Alright, uh, on Blu-ray, I picked up The Green Hornet. It's directed by easily one of my favorite directors of all time, Michelle Gondry, and it stars Seth Rogen. So I figured that should be a win-win combination. Alright, the next three movies I picked up at Blockbuster. They're having a 3 for 15 deal on Blu-ray. Uh, so these are those movies. Alright, I picked up Death Race. Uh, basically picked this one up because it was directed by a director I have a love-hate relationship with, and that's Paul W.S. Anderson. Uh, he's given us such movies as Mortal Kombat, the Resident Evil series, Event Horizon. Uh, he's also the one who completely ruined the Alien and Predator franchises in one fell swoop. Anyways, uh, figured this would just be a over-the-top remake of the Roger Corman classic, Death Race 2000. Haven't seen it yet, uh, not expecting much, but whatever. For five pounds, I figured I'd give it a whirl. All right, the second one I picked up was Robin Hood, directed by Ridley Scott. I've heard mixed things about this one. Heard it's kind of boring, uh, but I, once again, I figured for five pounds, I'd give it a whirl and make my own assessment. All right, and last in the deal, I picked up Ghostbusters, because it's a classic. Can't go wrong with Ghostbusters. All right, the next uh, couple of movies and video games I picked up from one of my favorite stores in Bury St. Edmunds. It's called E3. They uh, sell used video games, music, and movies. And I usually go there because they have a pretty good selection of used Blu-rays and a really good selection of uh, used PS3 games. And they got a bunch of cool retro goodies as well. All right, the first Blu-ray I picked up from them was War of the Worlds, uh, Steven Spielberg. I picked this one up because uh, I actually didn't even have this one on DVD yet. I saw this in the theaters, thought it was pretty good. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't that impressed with the ending, but up leading up to the ending, I pretty much enjoyed the film. Not only the highly enjoyable sci-fi rom, so I figured up on Blu-ray because I figured it looked pretty good. Alright, picked this one up for three pounds. I don't really know anything about this movie other than it's called Shrooms, and it's something about people who take shrooms and then I guess go crazy and have horrifying dreams or something go on a killing spree. Anyways, it looks completely ridiculous, uh, but I figured for three pounds I'd definitely give it a whirl. Picked up Toy Story 1 and Toy Story 3 on Blu-ray. Pretty happy with this. Uh, I have these all on DVD, but I would not want to pick up all the uh, Pixar films on Blu-ray because they just look amazing, each and every one of them. Now I just got to pick up the second one and I'll have the Toy Story trilogy. All right, next I'm going to go into the video games I purchased from E3. E3 is pretty awesome in the fact that you can pick up a large selection of video games, like under 12 pounds. I thought I'd go into those now. All right, the first PS3 game I picked up was Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six in Vegas. I don't really know much about this game, but it was four pounds, so I figured I'd give it a whirl. All right, the next game I picked up was Virtua Fighter 5. Uh, bought this basically so whenever I have a friend come over or me and my wife just want to sit there and beat each other up, uh, it's always fun for that. All right, picked up Brother in Arms, Hell's Highway. I uh, figured I'd give this a whirl. I'd read some pretty good reviews about it, and I like World War II games. They're fun. All right, picked up Alone in the Dark Inferno. This one I heard is just a survival horror-esque type game. Um, I like that kind of genre, so I figured I'd try this one out. Uh, even though I'm probably going to guess that I'm not going to be too impressed with this one, but whatever. It's only six pounds. All right, I usually don't like to spend more than ten pounds on a video game, but I've been really wanting to play Dead Space 2, uh, so I picked this one up for 12. It's pretty much the cheapest I've seen, uh, definitely since it's come come out, so picked it up. Can't wait to play it. All right, the next two games I picked up were from Game. Uh, they're having a pretty good sale on games right now. Uh, so I figured I'd go check out and see what they had. All right, the first game I picked up was Star Wars Unleashed 2. I had the first one. I really enjoyed that one. I haven't heard the greatest things about this one, but I figured I'd give it a whirl for 12 pounds. All right, this is Dungeon Siege 3. It's kind of funny. This game literally just came out a couple weeks ago, and I haven't seen a copy for under 60 bucks. I've been wanting to give it a try because I really like dungeon crawlers. Uh, they just happened to have this uh, the limited edition version as well on sale for 16 pounds. And on top of that, I had a three pound credit with it on my card, so all in all I got this game pretty cheap. Went to Oxfam, which is right next to E3, and they have a pretty good DVD collection. And as I'm going to pick this up, this is Little Britain Live. 
uh, brand new sealed in the case and it's also the limited edition and it comes with a uh, miniature tour program. So looking forward to watching this because I did enjoy the series. All right, we're gonna finish up with what I purchased at HMV. I like HMV because I got a lot of good deals on Blu-rays and I'm also able to pick up a lot of British television shows that I wouldn't be able to pick up in the States. We'll go into those. Picked up a two pack of Chris Lilly shows. It comes with Summer Heights High and We Can Be Heroes. I've never seen We Can Be Heroes, but I've seen Summer Heights High and it's amazing. If you don't know who Chris Lilly is, he's a comic legend from Australia. Summer Heights High is probably one of the funniest things you'll ever see in your life. Mainly picked this up because when we first got here and we were watching television in the hotel room, uh, we caught a couple episodes of the show and we thought it was absolutely brilliant. Picked up Billy Madison on Blu-ray for six pounds. This is easily one of my favorite comedies of all time. I watched this one several times throughout the year and I can't wait to see how it looks in Blu-ray. And you can't have Billy Madison without having Happy Gilmore. Uh, easily these are two of my favorite Adam Sandler films. It features Adam Sandler definitely in his heyday before he decided to uh, just do utter crap like Jack and Jill. Right, Mark? All right, and finishing up the haul video, picked up The Goonies. Uh, definitely a childhood classic and easily one of the greatest films ever made. I picked this one up for seven pounds, and I am definitely looking forward to watching it in Blu-ray. All right, thank you for watching my second video in this series. I'll see you at my next haul. I was looking through the new releases and I found this movie, Hobo with a Shotgun. I went home and watched the trailer to see if it was as legit as the cover was and sure enough it was. Uh, so I immediately ran out today and picked this up. I really wish my buddy Dan was here because we would both be sitting around drinking simpler times watching Hobo with a Shotgun. So Dan, this one's for you.